Well guys, and welcome back to another Total War Arena game by from Legion IX Espana. And last time we saw some hoplite games, guys, me and my sexy Greeks. But then I'm going to show you some Roman infantry, so I thought I'll team up a little bit first before showing you uh, some Roman infantry. So right now we're at the Hastati tier 4. As we see right here, our squad abilities, our commander abilities are heavy infantry charge testudo and the heavy infantry charge has been fully upgraded to tier almost tier 4 standard it's very very good and my testudo has been upgraded to the double missile block that it would normally get so it's going to help us a bit better and next thing you know we can upgrade the melee defense uh, we haven't got far to upgrade vengeance yet but I have faith we will do that relatively soon so I'm going to show you about two to three games on uh, on arena with my Roman infantry guys. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for all the support on my last two. My stream went extremely well. Over 300 viewers, and my last uh, Total War Arena video that wasn't a stream got to over a thousand viewers, guys. And uh, some nice, and I got a, quite a few new subscribers, guys, from those videos. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, I try try to bring you more quality uh, Total War Arena gameplay content as quickly as I can. If you also play other Total War games, uh, go check out my Total War Let's Play Syracuse campaign. I have I give out nice a couple of nice uh, giveaways on that. I recently gave away Norsco on my last live stream on that. Uh, there should be another Total War Arena live stream uh, tomorrow. I'm hoping to do that. Uh, Sunday I will be at uh, someone's christening, so I won't be able to upload any content on that day. Uh, I believe I'm doing a bit. I do some Elder Scrolls as well online. Some Elder Scrolls Legends online. If any of you are interested in that card game, tune in and. Uh, Watch some, uh, watch some last. I should be doing some live streaming on that relatively soon. Also, um, I don't think I'm missing anything else for any of the games. Uh, I did, I did try some War Thunder. It didn't go down massively well on my channel. However, if people start asking for it back, I will, uh, I will bring some. I will also bring some out as well. Um, I've also pre-ordered the Age of Empires Definitive Edition, um, which is the remastered number one, and I will, I will be showing some content of that the day it's released. Uh, just to let you guys all, just let all you guys know, all those Age of Empires fans there. So if you want to see that, uh, let me know. I will be putting a straw poll in the comments below of what games you'd like me to play, any new games you want me to play. Let me know what you think. I'll put on other games I play that I would like to stream or like to do YouTube videos on, and uh, taking out the ones I already do. And you guys, and I will pick the top one to start doing videos on. Okay, so I have, we have now formed combat, which is new. Uh, cool down duration. This unit fights in strict formation, heightening combat skills, uh, but lowering maneuverability. We have our peeler, our testudo, and our thing. So basically, this is because I upgraded my Hestati. So I have some, I have some Boudica Warhounds in support. These are the tier four Warhounds, very really guys, nice. and we do have a lot of enemy swords. Trying to cross this um, cross this river here. I believe these are tier five Roman infantry against my tier four, so I'm going to be struggling quite heavily with the war dogs in support. Though I have I have good confidence that I should be able to prevent to prevent to win the combat. However, we are going. I do feel like we're going to need some support over here relatively soon. I got my testudo ready. Not testudo, sorry. I'm gonna get overwhelmed very quickly. I think is he in shield wall? Hmm. We are getting some cavalry support. Seems to be moving in over here. So we're gonna get some peeler off, and then we're gonna get some nice charges going on here. So we got some nice charges on there guys. So we're going speed, but we're gonna increase that charge deflect, that melee defense. And we're gonna get some support of some great dogs here. It's gonna really help us out. I really crippled the guy's morale pretty heavily there. And I am doing quite a lot of damage, however, he is better infantry than me, so I am gonna take I'm gonna start gradually taking the damage and this and the enemy woman infantry coming in is going to be very, very bad for me, especially as this uh Shot cavalry come here. We've had no support from other teammates. It's just been, it's been three versus two, and there's, uh, there's very little we can do. Saying that, we are one of my units has routed, and I was getting some nice kills, however. But it seems I'm just going to have a whole loss on my hands at the moment. The war dog guy is retreating. He's forgetting about me. So uh, not very good teamwork. The bad thing about arena, it's very unbalanced these maps. Like all I'm saying is, two guys spawn here, but four, three to four can spawn up there. It's very unbalanced the way it. Uh, the way it is. 
but on the air, like it's very, like it's very all balanced on our team to the right. So it's a bit on. It's a bit unfair for some areas. But uh, I tried my best, but unfortunately it uh, didn't work as well as we would hoped. One of my units is trying to retreat, but absolutely got annihilated there. One unit is trying to retreat. <coughs> Let's see if it will make it. I have one unit that uh, has decided to rally with 54 men to so half the unit strength. So can maybe go into the side of these uh, these units here. Actually get a couple of kills. Let's see what happens. I get a four peeler off first, and I'll go charging into that. So at least we have some units still to play with. So there we go. There's the peeler. There we go. So we'll, we'll get into these missile units right now. Oh. Uh, a nice charge there and we'll get into our formed combat but we are getting outflanked by enemy missiles like I said we're just heavily outnumbered and it seems like our entire team decided to go on one flank which is not what you wanted to do and even they're getting obliterated now due to this cavalry over here my infantry only 44 kills considering how badly damaged I got I don't I'm not classing that as too bad to be honest uh, we do have friendly cavalry support coming in but it's too little too late in my opinion my units routed now off the field, and it's uh, there. We go. I've lost all my units. Very bad coordination on the team's part. Me and the guy with the war dogs. He, he he's a coward. He should be shamed upon. The real the real Cass, the real Cass, or whatever his name, the Casper, who just just left me to die. It's not really good teamwork. Uh, we got some more tier four enemy infantry. Like I said, the right side was our only strong side, and we've uh, we seem to be starting to lose on that due to the our team being shocking. As well as that, I feel like our, t our team has been heavily up tiered as well. I see a lot of tier 5 enemies with a lot of tier 5 um, allies. So it's uh, quite. I think that was a very nice infantry. It was a very nice charge for the dogs that absolutely obliterated that unit there. A lot of friendly, a bit of friendly fire coming on here with the scorpions. Yeah, it's a tier 5 unit. They're very. Apparently, these, got, these are very, very deadly. I don't know why this cavalry is not going for them. I don't know what he's aiming for. There you go. These archers about to die from the auxiliary cavalry. Trotters go to try and get into intercept, but as we see, 752. We don't have enough troops really to deal with it. And then with all this coming over here, there's a lot, a lot of archers as well. It's going to be horrible against these lightly armored dog handlers. Look at that. The graphics do look pretty nice for this game, to be honest. I'm not running it at a higher settings, uh, my computer can't seem to handle it, but I'm, I am in a brand new um, GM NVIDIA, sorry, an Asus, an Asus GT51 with two GTX 1070 Ti's, I think they're called. The, hi the highest t 1070's in uh, i7, uh, just DDR4, it's going to be it's just a beast of a computer. So, oh, it should bring some really good content out of that, and some really good quality on visuals there. See, these war dogs aren't too bad in melee as well, but these dogs just going to go straight in and go absolutely savage charge onto the war dogs here. Friendly archers trying to deal some of the, trying to do some damage, but they're doing more to go towards their allies, and that that's going to be, a, oh my word, that's going to be atrocious. So yeah, Prinker Pairs, yeah, they're doing a good, a good job. And the uh, some peeler coming in here from the other Prinker Pairs, which is absolutely devastating for the Rome. But it's absolutely de devastating for the Greek. See how quickly they lose the troops there. And then, the, and then this arch unit is just going to get focus fired on. It's going to die. Kimbri Ball women are not going to survive. Well, for this, I preferred it when the Kimbris had the, they could have put a long ball animation in, you know, like the Kimbris compared to the other ones. But they didn't do that, which is a bit of a shame. Our, our base is also being captured pretty heavily as well. Uh, we can't defend this massive brawl over on the right side. This guy still has a unit over here, but uh, it's just too little, too late, really. So we get an infantry charge on that very soon, I think. Just managed to get the charge off. And like I said, we've been heavily up tiered. Look at all the tier. There's a bit of tier five of our cavalry there. But look, tier four. No, tier five. Tier five. Tier five. All of it was seem to be tier five. Tier five. I, the many tier had 70% tier 5 and the rest tier 4. Our team had about 50% tier 5, 50% tier 4, so we were very disadvantaged to start off with. So hopefully when the game comes out it will only be, oh you can only play with people of your tier. I think the only reason they have it like this now is because it's the closed alpha and there's not enough people in the game to really work that out. 
neutral, hopefully it'll only be you can only play against people in your own tier. I hope you sure you don't get up tiered and down tiered all the time, which is a it's really painful as I had that game there, which was absolutely atrocious atrocious for me. But we still owned four thousand so I don't I don't like the way these achievements work because you get the same achievements again every every game, which is a bit annoying. Maybe we did get a decent a bit of a XP though for our units, so we'll uh we'll go into our tech we'll go into our squad, our units, see if we can upgrade. Uh we'll, we'll, we'll transfer over some gold I think. Use some gold to buy to buy that. And we're still this is smidge. smidge. I can go down for the cavalry for twelve thousand. I go for the principes. The I believe my commander is tier four as well, so we can't do anything on that right now. So I'm gonna search for the game. See, when you get to, when you get to tier four, that's the that's the hard. I might be like, tier four is one of the hardest ones to get through, um, because there's so many upgrades for your hastati. Uh, your your commander takes ages to get leveled up. Uh, so it's, this is where you start doing the slugfest uh, for Rome, anyways. Is tier four. The Greeks actually, I didn't, I didn't go through such a slugfest actually. I did uh, relatively well with the hoplites, but the only problem is hoplites are nowhere near as good as Roman infantry. They need to be seriously buffed, in my opinion. Uh, I understand when Fairlands are getting flanked, that's completely reasonable. But when I just had it, so Roman tier five infantry can charge into a tier four um, straight up phalanx and beat it. It's unbelievable. How unbalanced that is. That's my biggest annoyance. Uh, the archers don't seem to be as big a problem in this cause that as they were in number nine. Archers were just killing everyone everywhere, but it doesn't seem to be the problem this game. Uh, it's not too bad as well when you roam and you've got those sexy testudos to go in now. A uh, re reasonable amount of artillery in our team. We've got two artillery, that's relatively, that's decently enough. You see, our entire team is tier four, apart from that one guy there with tier five. So if we see a lot of tier five enemies, I'm not going to be very, very, very happy. See, this is what don't forget. There is um, there is games con on everyone, so there's going to be some games con guys playing in here. So we'll see how that works. Got WG games con till Total War Arena one, Total War Arena 39. So there's there's over like a hundred computers. <laughs> it's insane. With all with all the units unlocked, it's quite good. Um, so. I'm going to deploy by the hot gates. We'll do a Leonidas last stand if we have to, but hopefully it shouldn't come to that. So if you guys have any questions about the game at all, guys, uh, or if you want to, if you want to show you barbarians in the next uh, next video, let me know. I will stop playing my barbarians, and I'll I'll stop on, I'll stop playing my barbarians for you guys, and uh, I'll bring that. Barbarians are my least favorite, in my, my opinion. I like the Greek and the barbar. I like the Greeks and the Romans more. I feel I just like the units more. Barbarians are very glass cannony. Yeah, the, the archer fire just destroys everything. Of uh, all barbarian units, the only good thing about barbarians is their cavalry is quite strong, so I could go for quite a cavalry focus, I suppose, with my uh, with my um, barbarians. So that, that could be good. So you could count the archers. I could I could do that if I wanted to. I was thinking about getting some peltas for my Romans as well, which I've been debating about going back with a going back and just spam out the tier one swords with some peltas. This tier one peltas, just so I get to tier four again for peltas and uh, use them. Use one tier four pelters for my infantry. It'd be quite nice to be honest. But five or three women because you get you get a extra XP bonus and a morale bonus. I can't remember for having a two to three. So two is it a different unit? Uh, so you don't have the same three units. You get a small XP bonus. It shows you being diverse on the field. So so far we see there's not there's not a lot going on here with the tier four infantry. Those ballistas seem to be doing a cracking job. That's our only tier 5 unit. Does a great job at doing some damage. We seem, I seem to be encountering no resistance by the hot gates. This Roman player is doing spikes on the hot gates, so we'll see. I feel a bit overextended right now with no reinforcements, so we'll see what happens. Furious Scout could come and help me if he needed to, but I doubt he will. He feels like a, it looks a bit like a, a hot gate camper. Which is probably going to get him seen killed by all the archers, but we'll see what happens. 
So right now I could do a long, long march around the side and just get the enemy base. If no one's bugging me. Because I don't see any enemy units. We have three units of cavalry heading straight for our base. Falxes as well. Falxes are a very nice unit. And found the enemy unit. I quickly, good job, I quickly came back there. And again, tier 5 Roman infantry, so there's no way in God's earth I'm going to win this engagement. And I charged straight into spikes, but I didn't realise it. So, there you go, guys. <laughs> it's very unbalanced in the tier system, in my opinion. I absolutely hate the tier system. I always will do, because the tier system in Oak and Closed Alpha is not balanced at all. Oh, it's not balanced at all. The the other thing is, if, you first, if you're going on a one-on-one -on -one pure engagement with no allied support, and no allied support at all, you're screwed, because tier 5 infantry is always going to be tier 4 infantry, unless you get some serious rear charges going on. As you see here, these two units are struggling to beat this one unit here, so it's it's almost impossible for me to, uh, to, to get any kills whatsoever. It's just—it's very unbalanced. Uh, I understand the tier five is always going to be tier four. I don't, I don't know, me and the spikes on the left—I didn't see it wasn't a good idea. But all I'm saying, it was atrocious. What? It's just atrociously how two of these guys did that little damage to my men. And, uh, it was very unbalanced. And I, I just—I just, I just really dislike it. I'm—I'm I'm not raging or being salty or anything like that. It's the fact that. I understand you wanted to make, there's not a lot of people in closed alpha, but when you make tier 5 Roman Principes that much better than tier 4 Histati, where they can't, well, two Histati can't kill a single Principe, it's insane. Because look how many damn, look how many men I lost, and how many kills I got. And my guys got some clear charges, and 10 kills, 10 kills, that's all I got, and when they, I got a clear charge on, on that, that one unit there, and he only lost 10 men. Lost a, and I lost about one third of his hit points, it was insane. It was really insane. Uh, it's just, it's just so stupid. And this guy here is just, just randomly just left. No one's gone on the left side. When we're going to lose this game because of that, by the look of it. Some good cavalry charge there. There's going to be insane Falks charges. See, Falks aren't that good either, to be honest. Like Roman infantry obliterates Falks easily enough. Got more, yeah. The, we got some more of these. These scorpions seem to be doing a good job. On this side here, as you see, it does a lot of hit point damage, and does kill some good. Does kill a decent amount of units. I believe he are uh, he is spotted them and he's trying to go for them. Look at that! It's insane. Cavalry is coming to try and stop that. General, general. Ducius is trying to try and stop that. Peel was thrown in. Oh, look at that char, there we go. There's a route there from that entire unit routed from the shot cavalry in the back, it's insane. What's this guy called? Flam. Flam, who is he called? Flam. 200, there you go, 272 kills. He's got two swords and that that's blister. I think he's got one of his swords still alive. We've got some retinous. These are like. Um, this is a premium infantry unit for Rome. Uh, we seem to have a lot of troops actually out of their base. We could, we could actually win this. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, Retinus are like a, a Roman in, like Roman veterans that have retired that have been called back into the army. So they're in their early 50s. So they've got a lot of army experience. So they're not a bad unit. <coughs> and they look, they look basically, they look like auxiliary swords. To they look like, you know how you have in Rome 1, Rome 2, you have auxiliary infantry. Uh, and auxiliary infantry has spears. These look like, in my opinion, as auxiliaries with swords, a very nice unit to have. Which I would definitely buy. But I would definitely be buying one of those unit, these units when I get to print pay level, just for the start. Because when you have a premium unit in your thing, you get extra XP from premium units. See, this unit here is trying to hide, but he should be going in test. Test is actually not what he wants to do. He's just, he's just going to get so many. He's using so many men to these um, ballistas, and he loses so many men. They're insane! Look at those! Look at these kills! Every shot kills someone. It's in absolutely insane. So there's a heavy fighting at the enemy camp right now. 
we are winning. We are starting to win this very nicely. War dot AI. Well, not AI. CPU AFK. There. A lot of Roman infantry are going to be pumped back into this over here. I base capture. There is a bit of cavalry there, but that's been dealt with now. We've almost fully captured the base. Oh, we're friendly with enemy reinforcements coming in. It's going to take a while before we get that. Tier four versus tier five infantry. This guy hasn't got a chance in hell unless he gets some support from the cavalry. So it looks like it's going to be a very nice charge here in the side. Going to really hurt the morale though. Actually, no, it didn't fall to the morale at all. But it was a very good charge. This infantry will try and hold its best, but it won't win at all. And um, this cavalry, this cavalry, trying to figure out how to attack this unit. Friendly reinforcements are on the way. Two tier five retinas and a tier five ballistas on its way with some more cavalry. Enemy, however, there are some fresh, and well, not fresh, half health enemy falcons is going to try and get those as well. Good cavalry charge would kill them, in my opinion. But I believe the cavalry is really wanting to go for that charge there, I believe. He should definitely be going for that charge there. But he's not, which is quite surprising. This guy is not that quite good general done. How is he? He's got good kills, right? I'm just saying he hasn't he's not, he's just gonna get this unit charged by the look of it. Yep. Fark caught some units there. It's good cover he's just microing over here, I think. These Farks is gonna go into combat here. Cavalry here by Akko just charge the Falks. Falks will get absolutely shredded by cavalry charge. And he knows that, so watch this. It would be, he's absolutely devastated. There's an instant route. Italian is dead. He's a Falks. I'm gonna die. That, that guy, that Akko guy's probably just got a 50 kill strap, but there we go. Look at that. It's insane. But he needs to help this infantry guy because he's not gonna he's not gonna win. He to, if he he's doing alright against this one unit and this unit's routed. The only reason he's won this engagement is because it's a 3v, it's a 3v1, and he might have an upgrade in his stat, he might have a stat here, it was a bare bones, I believe. This cavalry needs to just get in there and hit that hoplite in the back. Pretty bad charge, in my opinion, with that cavalry, this one's going to be better. Even if it was straight into a hoplite failing, so that managed to just break it. So that unit is dead. So we, we've, we've won this actually, guys. So, but even though I've had a pretty shitty game again, 13 kills. I'm not having a good. I'm, I'm not having a good uh, couple first few games. It's, just, it's unlucky. It depends on who you get matched upon. Like tier four head on, straight on against tier five. It's not gonna, not gonna work out successfully for anyone. Because cavalry, according to blue. It's very glitchy though. How the units are like this. Like they're not. I got. They're not. They're not the spears. They're not even doing anything. And they're going to. They, they you don't even have swords after that. They're just going to hand combat. Pretty cheap on the animations. To be honest, people do a lot better with the animations. They're using their hands to hit. <laughs> Having a sword in their hand wouldn't be a bad choice. And their retinas has finally got into the field. And that's the complete annihilation. Eight thousand silver. So, guys, I haven't had a very good day on my roam, unfortunately. And uh, but thank you, thank you guys for watching. I hope I'll bring some more roam out tomorrow. I'll do a live stream with my Roman unit tomorrow again, guys. So, um, if you guys want to see more Total War Arena content, leave a like and don't forget to fill out this. Uh, don't forget to vote in the straw poll down below of what game do you want me to play next. Um, it will be out of Age of Empires. This this will happen when the game's released. If there's um the game hasn't released, I'm going to be Age of Empires. It's going to be Age of Empires two, Age of Empires one remastered, uh, Age of Empire, not Age of Empires four. That's going to be a decent bit off, and just other games basically. I'll uh, think of a few and put them in the challenge log. Before I'll put them in the straw poll below. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Have fun playing some Total War Arena. Bye bye guys.